Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shir Abdul, and today we're going to show you how to assemble Embot Neo step by step in 3D diagram. So let's go start it. Okay, we're going to assemble Embot 2, Embot Neo step by step. First of all, you need to get the encoder motor, both encoder motors, okay, like this. And as you can see, these uh, like the yellow color holes, these are M4. Uh, threaded holes so uh, these thread holes you will see all the uh, three slides you can see in here two holes in this side two holes and this side two holes so these two uh, m4 threaded holes you can easily connect it and make a block at mechanical parts like a uh, flexibility combination with various other parts Okay, so keep in mind. So let's let's go next. Now you need to connect the two cables, motor cables. Okay, like this. So you connect one each of these uh, ports. Okay, both ports. So it should be like that. Okay. So let's go to the next. Now you need to put the chassis. So you put the chassis like this. And you want to make sure that the when you put the motor like this, the, so this this side come front because sometimes you don't have enough space. So you want to make sure you put one by one like this. Uh, the motor side come to the front. Uh, before that, this is the front. Uh, of the inboard neo this is smiley face is the front and the m is the back so if you if you turn the other side so it's always go to the back end and the first one motor is coming like this and put it like and like this as uh, showing in the image and make sure there's two holes screw holes you will see so you can put the screws on it same like that the other end should be connected to this hole the two holes should be visible so we can put the screws okay let me show you the screws so now you put the screws like that okay the two cables it sh you should take from the f uh, so this is the back right m is the back so all the way back hole the big hole the two motor cables should come up like this okay so as you can see you connect the cables and you take from the cables from this hole from the back all the way back come like that so now you connect the two motors to the chassis okay from the front to the back the cables are coming from the from the upper hole the last hole now you will get the wheel hub don't put it now just take the wheel hub and you put the slick tire on it like that and you just press on these holes okay the motor and after that you will get the m2.5 12 millimeter screw and you just screw it don't make it tight so just you know, normal uh, tight and you do the same to the other end take the wheel hub and slick tire put it first and put here and put the screw like that okay so now your input should like this so let's go to the next one now mini wheel so what you need to do here is once you assemble everything you turn it upside down so it's easy for you to you know uh, do this one so once you get the mini wheel 
so mini will go to the front and mini will go like this so make sure you put it like this okay don't do anything just try to find the holes and go to the next one now you get the quad rgb sensor okay let's go back to the upside down so it's easy for you to uh, assemble so let me show you so now you put top of this and make sure that these led sensor is there down so if you don't know that uh, led uh, these are uh, quad rgb sensor okay these are l uh, light sensors so you can see these are light sensors you have four light sensors one two three four okay and these two screws and this is for four light sensors and these are fill light four fill light uh, sensors so if i go uh, to normal view the right correct one so you will see a small button so the small button come need to up okay and the sensors goes down so these sensors are detecting all these colors the quad rgb sensor uses the visible light as fill lights which is significantly reduce the interference of the ambient light in addition to provides the function to recognizing colors okay so let's go back and you need to put the two screws now as you always it's easy to do upside down and do the screws like that so after that it should be like this let's go to the next one so now you take 10 uh, 10 centimeter cable you will find in your package there's a cable 10 centimeter two uh, cables so take one and connect connect to the uh, rgb uh, sensor okay so if you if you take this side right one right port so you connect this the cable should come from the first hole and it will go for to this side so if you do the second cable so second cable also connected now the first cable the second cable first port second port so both are connected but look at the cable diagram it will like cross it will go this one go to the this side and this cable go to this side it's like a like a cross okay so now the two cables should come up like that okay let's go to the next one so this is ultrasonic sensor okay before that i will show you so this is the smiley face right the smiley face the two holes are connecting the ultrasonic sensor this is the version 2 so it should like this okay don't put the screws yet just make sure you can see the holes visible okay and then you put the m4 40 millimeter screws like this so now you should be seeing like this now let's go to the next one So now what you need to do here is you take the right right cable and connect it to the right side of the M uh, ultrasonic sensor too. So now you connect the right cable the right side of the ultrasonics sensor too okay you're not going to connect this cable and we're not going to connect anything this one 
okay so this cable connected to the right side of the ultrasonics so if you see, check carefully it should cross that means this port this port it's connected to this port okay make sure you connect the ports correctly as the diagram now the inboard shield just put it like this okay and you need to put the four screws m4 25 millimeter screws like that I should be like this let me talk about the ember 2 shield uh, give some overview of this one okay so this is the power on off switch and these two ports are multi function port s1 and s2 okay so the these two multi function ports used to connect and drive not only ser servers but also led strips so this is a multi-function so you can connect uh, two servers or led strips that if you want to do some uh, modification on this uh, uh, number two in the future okay so let's go back in here and these two ports are dc motor port m1 and m2 if you want to connect uh, any any other DC uh, motor port, motor connections and this is the encoder motor a uh, em1 and em2 these two ports are going to connect these two, uh, two cables and these two is servo uh, servo ports s3 and s4 okay so uh, the two server ports you can drive servers okay and this one is a cyber uh, m built port which is show you it's going to connect this cable like that so now you can see this one connected and this port connect to this one so this is blank you're not going to connect anything on this okay and to make sure it should be like this okay so as you can see this is the rechargeable battery okay we normally call this is a shield and bot shield this is the rechargeable battery and um, so just in case if you don't know the self discharge occurs in the lithium and battery so if you store a board shield with an with, with the battery voltage lower than 3.6 volt for a long time the battery will be over discharged and its internal structure may be damaged so keep in mind that okay next we're going to connect the two motor cables like that okay make sure two motor cables now connected so let's go to the next one now the the best part is connect the uh, cyber pi so for that so you can see we connect the two motor ports in here the cyber pi ports should connect it here so cyber port the joystick come this way and all the a and b this switch are a if you look closely you can see it uh, says a you can't see in this image but for the actual one you will see a and b so for the doing doing the programming you need to have those uh, functions to do some programming. So 